In this video, we'll be going over linking in replay mode. The linking feature in Motive Wave enables you to use replay mode across several different charts at the same time. Now let me review linking before we get into linking specifically with replay mode. So we click on Configure, Preferences, and then on the second row, we'll notice here linking. If we click on that, we have three options for linking. We have instrument, we have bar size, and then we have none. If we select instrument, for instance, for the red link, if we then make these two charts red, then you'll notice if I click on one of the charts, they both synchronize to the same symbol. So let's just remove that. So that's instrument link. Now let's say I want to put this back to the euro dollar. Now we go back, configure, preferences, and then linking. And we now change this to bar size and click OK. What will happen is if I change the bar size on any of these two linked charts, let me link them first actually, let me link them back to red, red. And now you'll notice that the dollar CAD is at one hour and the euro dollar is at 15 minutes. But since we've set the red link to synchronize bar sizes, if I were now to click on two hour, you'll notice that the instruments stay the same, they do not change, but the bar sizes are now in sync, being both for two hours. Going back to configure preferences, if we now change this to replay mode or none, what'll happen is we will not affect the synchronization of instruments or bar sizes. We are simply want to link these two charts for the purposes of replay mode so that they both sync up in the same replay session. So you'll notice now, if I click on any of these, the symbols don't change. And if I change this to, for instance, a one hour, you'll also notice that this red link chart here maintains its two hour time frame. And if I were to change this to 15 minutes, you'll notice here that again, the dollar CAD maintains its one hour bar size. So by selecting replay mode for linking, again, configure preferences, and we select linking and select none replay, we are avoiding any synchronizations with both symbol or time frame. So there are four steps in linking charts for replay mode. The first one would be to select the charts that you want to include in your replay mode. So in this case, I want the top two, the dollar CAD and the euro dollar. For the second step, we are to choose a link color. And we've already done that. We've decided to choose red for these two charts. Then we go over to replay mode. So we were to select replay mode from the icon in the upper corner. Or again, you can select replay mode via the view menu. And we get the replay control bar here at the bottom. We click on settings in the far right hand side here, replay preferences. And for replay link, we select red. And we click update. And now if we power up our replay mode, you'll notice that only the two charts belonging to the red group are now part of the replay session. Now you'll now notice in the replay bar that we have here on the far right the chart that's currently selected. In this case, it's the euro dollar, along with its corresponding bar size and the link color. Now there's also another more convenient way to do linking in replay mode, and that's using page linking. Let's power off replay mode. Let's go back to replay settings, far right hand corner. You'll notice here on a replay link, you have page. Now when page linking is used, uh, which by the way is the default, all the charts that are part of that page will be included in the replay session. So that means all these charts here will be included in this specific replay session. Now the page linking can be used either uh, inside the console or a desktop. So if we click update, and now if I power it on, you'll notice all four charts 
now become part of the same replay session. If we take a look at the bottom right here in the replay control bar, you'll notice that the active chart is the euro dollar with a 15 minute bar size selected. So when we use the control bar here to progress through ticks, the bar size of the active chart, in this case the euro dollar 15 minute, will be used. So if we take a look at the hourly charts, you'll notice that as I click on play next tick, you're not getting a new hourly bar until your 4 15 minute ticks play. So that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.